I'm Julian. I'm this year's drivetrain and powertrain manager. I'm studying automotive technologies uh, here at the university in Eindhoven. Last year I was a, a part-timer, so uh, basically a designer in the team who was responsible of one part, the uprights. Drivetrain is uh, focusing more and more on the mechanical side of the propulsion of the vehicle. So you need to think about the gearbox, how everything is attached to uh, one another, the brakes. And powertrain takes more of the electric side of things. We have the motor controller there, the motors, and all the, the HV wiring. The motor controller this year is really interesting since it's a really big project where we have been working uh, on together with ProDrive Technologies. This will be the third year we are working on it. That's also one of the big motivators for us to put some power into it this year and, uh, and make sure that we get it into the car before uh, FSN. And that's also why we, as a team, have something like a, a design freeze, uh, which is set on the 1st of December. My name is Michiel Jansen. I'm an employer at the TMC, and I work there as a test engineer. It's been a very long time since I've been in URI. I think it was until 2012. I did a graduation project there. So my project was to develop a lap time simulation model. I'm now helping URI as a member of TMC and I'm trying to help them with practical things. Michiel has always been a good person to, to fall back on uh, because he has experience just uh, working with companies, supply chains and just people in general. TMC is uh, focusing on having a partnership with uh, URI, so not just a sponsorship, um, where we want to connect with the future engineers. So this is a very good opportunity for URI to come in contact with uh, young students. But the design freeze will be the last date at which you can change things on your design. It will be very important to make sure that you can meet the deadline for production of the, the total vehicle. For drivetrain this would mainly mean that we have the final drive all designed, so the, the gears that are in, inside of the, of the in-wheel, uh, the uprights which hold the wheel uh, because they have to go through several steps of production, which all takes quite a lot of time. So it's really important to have that fixed deadline of the, the 1st of December. My name is Ivan Stajkov, and this year I'm part of the drivetrain department of URI. Uh, my assignment is connected to making the rear uprights. Uh, this component is part of the suspension and it does link the wheel, the carrier, the braking and the suspension components together. I am Maxim Ronge. I'm working on the drivetrain department this year. This year I'm working on the front uprights, which is the part that connects the, the final drive with the suspension of the car. This year um, we designed it using topology optimization, which is a way that the software um, calculates and determines the optimal placement for the material um, within the given design space that you give to the software. Now with uh, the price of 3D printing, you can really take advantage of that and create this uh, component without using difficult manufacturing techniques. And we had some difficulties uh, in the design process. So this year I wanted to see if Maxim and Ivan could find ways that could maybe work better. The contact within the department is mainly with the person who designs the brake caliper, um, because that's also connected to the upright. But also outside of the department, um, there's a lot of contact between the person who designs the suspension as he determines the attachment points um, between suspension and upright, um, which in turn also determines the forces that are on the upright. We started off with using uh, the same approach as last year, but then um, from the department we got the suggestion to also start looking into different directions. So uh, basically Maxim and Ivan are both taking their own ways now. Especially in the beginning there was uh, a lot of collaboration because he had his own idea of solving the problem and I had mine. So we discussed, okay, which route are we going to take? And eventually we chose to go different ways. He's doing a bit more um, manual style, seeing the output and then recreating it manually, which takes quite a lot of time before you can manage to get a body to simulate. Whereas I am trusting a bit more the software that uh, is giving me a faster output which I can then see the, the good and the bad about it, do a lot more iterations, whereas he is more fleshing out the design in less cycles. 
the main issue of the approach this year is that um, at the attachment points there is a lot of stress because we switched from titanium to aluminum. The simulation showing us that if we use it during acceleration or braking, that the approach will probably break. So yeah, that's our main concern for now. About the different approaches from Ivan and Maxime, I don't really have an opinion about that as long as the design they end up giving uh, meets the design requirements. The design freeze is something that is looking at you from a distance, which is in some parts really stressful, but it's also, as you say in Dutch, uh, a stick behind the door. Uh, so it's uh, some sort of fallback uh, you have. Hi, uh, back again. We decided that to increase the diameter around the attachment points, which greatly reduces the stress in the material, and now we just have to do some simulations to see whether um, the, the design actually holds up. And if it still fails, then yeah, we might have to seek for different approaches, such as changing material or even changing the uh, position of the attachment points. Despite all of the work to be done, I'm uh, fairly confident that this work will be done by the design freeze, but uh, with sparing some of the weekend, uh, or maybe all of it, I think uh, we'll get it on them. How uh, the fun begins. The focus is mainly turned to powertrain, which is a project on the inverter of the car, so basically the thing that controls the motors. We have been working on this together with ProDrive Technologies for three years now, and we are really motivated to get it into the car, but it is a lot of work. We are running into some issues on the way, things like the planning and just the project in general. Michiel helped me motivating uh, my designers and also to discuss uh, realistically with ProDrive what the expectations were and how to best go forward. With these kind of big projects, um, it can be hard to keep track of everything uh, because we have a really big mix of people who have been on the project since the start and the new people that just got into the project. From here on, uh, we will be uh, producing the boards, uh, testing them. Uh, yeah, then we will, uh, we will meet everyone at the races and uh, we will show them what we can do.